Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's 4.25 on Monday afternoon. There's a whole lot going on, and I need to just spend a few minutes here with you and kind of share with you the kind of changes that we're going through, the decisions the staff are facing, decisions are being made. Uh, you recognize yesterday, by the way, yesterday was great. I really thank all of you for being uh, such a great group and uh, for kicking in and making your stay such a special time. The instruction we had yesterday, you'll recall, was we we were not to exceed 250 in our assembly. So what we did is we took those of you that were here and we divided us in half and half of us stayed in the MPB and half of us were in the worship center and we projected uh, the sermon and the prayer time from the worship center into the MPB and that worked fine and I really appreciate the media team and all they did and all that you all did too. So we came in this morning prepared to refine that and just make that a, a better presentation on Sunday morning. So as we came together, the entire staff came together this morning, and as we came together to refine that, the CDC came out with a new restriction that our numbers couldn't increase, uh, couldn't uh, exceed 50. Well, that changed things a lot, but we came together as a staff and we, we were kind of coming up with a real good plan for how we could meet in different pods and so on and so forth. We just about had that done. And then President Trump came out uh, with his recommendation that no group exceed 10. Well, we just can't do that. There's no way for us to do that here on Sunday morning and manage it in any way. So uh, here's what we're gonna have to do. Uh, we're going to have to come up with uh, with a new plan of, and you probably know where we're going with this we're going to live stream our sunday mornings um, and we're going to have to do this it appears until uh, may the first um, this is what we're going to have to do every church activity that exceeds 10 in attendance is going to need to be temporarily suspended until may the first that includes almost everything we do. It includes our grow groups are going to need to be suspended. Awana on Sunday evening is going to need to be uh, suspended. In fact, it's easier to touch on the things that won't be suspended. Right now, all I'm aware of is the men's Bible study and the women's uh, Bible studies. I take it back. Those need to be suspended also because those exceed 10. The ones that won't need to be suspended uh, are the divorce care and the grief share will still be meeting because their numbers, as I understand it, are, uh, are less than 10. Uh, but outside of that, we'll be live streaming uh, through Facebook and through our website, uh, our Sunday morning services. At 1045, uh, we're going to live stream. That means you'll be receiving at the same time it's being conducted up here. We're going to live stream music. Uh, Daniel Clue and Tom Cotter are going to get together and come up with kind of a blended presentation of music. It's going to be very simple. Um, and that's not going to last very long, but they're going to do the best they can. And by the way, the instructions I'm giving here is just for one week. Things are moving so rapidly, we'll probably have to change things again next week, and I'll be coming back to you next week. But for this week only, those two men are going to get together and come up with a music presentation. That's going to be a very simple presentation. And then I'm going to come on, I'm going to preach a sermon. I'm going to preach a sermon this Sunday, uh, and I'll try to keep that within the uh, time limits that we normally have. But as I'm preaching it, you'll be receiving it online. Um, another thing I need to share with you, too, is the staff is going to be up here on Sunday morning. Uh, we'll be up here during the regular hours from 9.15 till about noon. So if you need anything from the staff, if you need any counsel, if you need to pray, we're going to be available to pray with you. Um, if you need to meet with any of us, certainly come. If you need to give, we're going to have the giving kiosk set up uh, in the foyer. So if you need to drop off offering envelopes, anything that you're going to need Sunday from the staff, we're going to be here from 9.15 to 2 o'clock. And just before I stop, let me make this one last appeal. This is a difficult time for all of us. Uh, we need not be evaluating each other. All of us are doing the best we can to cover this. So please let me encourage you not to look at somebody else and criticize them for what you consider to be their commitment or lack of commitment. Um, as best you can, I would ask that you don't make uh, any critical comments about the staff. I can tell you these men and women are doing everything they can to make this happen well. Let's all be positive. Let's all be encouraging. Let's all pray for each other. This is not going to last long. This is going to come. It's going to make its impact. It's going to leave. 
and we'll all be back together as one group over there on Sunday morning, and I'm praying for that time. For the time being, this that I've outlined for you this morning is going to need to be the way we conduct ourselves. God love you. God bless you. Proud to be your pastor. Thank you.